For the next seven days, I'm gonna be climbing the tallest mountain in the entire world, Mount Everest. Well, sort of. <laughs> According to Google, Mount Everest is 29,032 feet high. According to Sam, the stairs in my house are... 15 feet! If I can go up and down my stairs 1,935 times in the next week, I will have successfully gone up and down Mount Everest. Well, minus the deadly wind, extreme altitude, and arctic temperatures. <laughs> be honest, Mount Everest isn't as tall as I thought it was. Let's get started. Seems like a good spot to make base camp and pick up tomorrow. Will you just walk? Fine. All right, that's one down, 1,934 to go. Okay, so I'm like 52 flights in. This is already a lot harder than I thought. I'm getting bored too, so I'm gonna call my buddy Abby and just chat. So I'm climbing Mount Everest by just going up and down my stairs a bunch of times, and I'm bored, so uh, what's up? Only thing that's hard about Mount Everest is that there's actually snow. Well, it's, it's, it's snowing outside, so that's gotta count for something now. <laughs> So we haven't had a big snowstorm in three years, and now this is the second big snowstorm we've had in three days. I'm at 78 floors climbed so far, but I have to go take a break to shovel the driveway again. Now, I don't want to complain because my parents were nice enough to give me the shovel, but uh, dad, the handle's completely broken. It's even worse than my $5 shovel. So I was out there for about two hours. According to my watch, I walked 3.1 miles. So I'm counting it. I was out in the snow. I was dealing with the elements. I'm going to count that as some of my flights of stairs. But so you guys don't say I'm cheating. I'm going to ask Sam what she thinks is fair. 50 flights. 50 flights, but I was out there for two hours. <laughs> 50 flights. <laughs> So I just passed 200 flights of stairs. Sam and I are about to start cooking dinner because today is the, well, I guess technically you're not allowed to say the word, but the Chiefs and the Buccaneers are about to play a very famous football game. Ah, you know what? I'm going to say it. Big game. How did they? Today is the big game. I guess you're really not allowed to say Super Bowl. <laughs> That might have been the worst football game I've ever seen in my entire life. The halftime show was pretty good though. I gotta get a few more flights of stairs in before I go to sleep, and we'll pick back up again tomorrow. Horrible football game. <laughs>getting close to 800 flights of stairs. The reason why I don't know the exact number is because I have to go back and count them one by one when I edit the video. It's really hard eating chicken nuggets and walking at the same time. Also, my legs are really, really sore right now. And I'm not even halfway. If this was Mount Everest, I would be here right now. It's a long way to go. Ah. Ah. It's Wednesday morning. I just passed 1,000 flights of stairs. My legs feel like they are literally on fire right now. The snow's finally melting, by the way, for the first time in weeks. Although Sam told me it's supposed to snow in a couple days, so I'm sure I'll be back outside shoveling before I know it. So I had the chicken nuggets yesterday. I really want to get pizza today, but I don't have time to run out. What can I do to get pizza? Hey mom, so I'm climbing Mount Everest by walking up and down my stairs for this entire week, 
and I really want pizza. Do you think you and dad could bring some? So it's Thursday night. I had one of the busiest days all month. So I literally haven't walked a single flight of stairs other than the stairs that I've done when I go up and down to go to the bathroom. The heck? Okay, Roxy is also going crazy. I have to walk probably about three to 400 flights of stairs by the end of today. So it's time to make ice cream. <laughs> So we made that ice cream specially for Sam's grandmom who requested it. It has to sit in the freezer for about 24 hours before you can eat it. But now that I'm done making ice cream, I gotta start walking up flights of stairs. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> okay, so it's Friday afternoon. I have no idea how many flights of stairs I've walked, but I'll put it in the top corner of the screen. But today I'm gonna change things up a notch. So I've been walking up and down my stairs so many times I'm starting to go crazy. So today I'm gonna meet my buddy Steve. We're gonna walk around New Hope, which is a really nice little town, but they have this giant hill. It's gotta be at least 15 or 20 stories, but I've got my smartwatch on, so it'll tell me exactly how many feet I've climbed. <laughs> All right, so Steve joined me now. So what I'm doing this week is I'm trying to walk up and down Mount Everest in a week. Okay. And so far, all I've been doing is going up and down my stairs, but I was going crazy. So today we went to the biggest hill in our town. I used to run up this for cross country. And uh, yeah, I'm forcing you to go up and down. Oh, I'm doing it too? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, let's go. <laughs> all right. Alright, we went up and down a couple times. Each one is eight floors, so that's actually a pretty big hill. Steve's got to get back to work, and I got to stop vlogging in public because this is awkward. So did I do it? You did it. I no, climbed, you, I climbed Mount Everest? No, you did about uh, eight out of 1,935, whatever that is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so today is day seven, the final day of the challenge, and I'm actually almost there. So I have 1,695 feet left to climb. I'm tired of climbing up and down the stairs, so I'm gonna go on this treadmill. I'm gonna set it as steep as possible and just go until I've climbed 1,695 feet. <laughs> Seven days ago, I started on the ground, and now I'm 15 feet away from climbing to the top of Mount Everest. Five, four, three, two, one. We actually did it. I really thought the view would be a little nicer from up here. Oh. Roxy, don't bite those wires. Oh. 